fam, it's Kev, Intuitive Kev, and I'm back to do another reading for the collective. How's everybody doing? Hopefully amazing. I have missed you guys. It's been about two or three weeks since I've done a face-to-face -face read. Um, you guys have been asking for them. Um, I've just been, you know, you guys know I've been going through, uh, I'm getting over a cold, like, currently. And, um... I think it was a wake up call, you know, kind of like, you know, something's kind of like guide me back into the right direction because I wasn't paying attention. And, you know, a lot of times, uh, you know, we, we get caught up in situations and, you know, it's, you know, in our nature to expect the best out of people, you know, in situations. So, um, I just wasn't paying attention. I knew better, you know, and it's kind of like one of those situations where like, you know, when spirit says it's time to roll. You know, or move away from like the past, past people, uh, past situations, whatever it is. It's time to roll. <laughs> it's time to go. And um, you know, temporary lapse. Uh, I'm good though. You know, I've just uh, it was. I'm not gonna get detailed, but there was like you know, it was like I dealt with one thing. Like one thing happened, and then before that had even like you know fully, for before, before I fully recovered from that. Something else happened, and it was just, it's been a mess. But uh, if I can give you any words of wisdom, you know, based on my experiences, is that, like I said, you know, when uh, Spirit says it's time to roll, it's time to roll. You know, do not look back. You know, people pretend well. You know, they will play in your face, smile in your face, and say what they need to say, you know, and um, especially when it comes to, you know, things that you've already gone through, you know what to do connected we know what to do we know what to do you know we know our worth so we know what to do you know um but i'm so happy to be back i have missed you guys um bear with me because i haven't done you know this type of read in uh, like a little bit so um i want to pull three cards from overall energy <laughs> um see i don't forgot my spiel see i gotta get back in the flow Spirit, we ask that you continue to guide us and protect us. We ask that you give us insight and guidance on our current situations. We ask that you lift the veil of falseness and reveal that which is hidden from us. And we thank you for your blessing, your wisdom, your power, and your work in our lives. Thank you, Spirit. I want to pull three cards for overall energy. I did appreciate with this deck. Um, awakening. A temporary pause for reflection and insight. An awakening where you see things in a whole new light. Embrace your own uniqueness, charitable actions. Awakening. The world. Uh, this wanted to come out in reverse. The world, uh, a brilliant success, a time of joyful accomplishment and spiritual enlightenment, freedom to do whatever you want. Be proud of yourself. Like I said, this wanted to come out in reverse. I'm going to take it in reverse. The world in reverse. And... Four of Cups, failing to recognize a magical opportunity, missing the point, the distractions of daily life, discontentment or boredom, lost in your own world, wake up. Four of Cups. Bottom of this deck, we have the uh, the Queen of Wands in reverse. Um, Brilliant, talented, this is in the upright. Brilliant, talented, independent, controlling. There is nothing you can't do. Believe in yourself. Never underestimate your ability to make your dreams come true. The need for balance between career and personal life. Uh, it's the Queen of Wands, but, you know, it came out reverse. So, uh, apparently this karmic film is still in the mix. Can't get rid of that one. That's the biggest roach. That's Queen Roach. But, uh, yeah. Okay, so we're going to jump into the spread. I did pre shovel this deck. I'm using my deck today. Um, we're just gonna jump in. Oh, wait a minute, there was something I wanted to. Um, uh... so I was watching TD Jakes this morning, and um, it was his sermon about divine intervention, and there was this part, this part that really spoke to me. Um, and I wanted to share it with you guys because a lot of times we don't, you know, we don't remember or we forget, you know. Um, but he said, God doesn't wait until you get crowned to acknowledge you as sons. God will acknowledge you while you're still in chains. Everybody supports you when you're winning, but God supports you when you're losing. And that's T.D. Jakes. 
But uh, he said that, man. In fact, I mean, if that's not the real, that's the realest thing I didn't heard in a minute. God supports you when you're still in chains. God supports you when you're losing. Everybody supports you when you're winning. God supports you when you're losing. And, you know, going back to like my last few weeks, that's kind of what I forgot. You know, I had, you know, it's a lot of people in my face, you know, wanting to be down now. But, you know, 10 months ago, I was crazy, you know, and, you know, I was a, a witch and, you know, tarot was the devil and all of this stuff. Now I got all these people in my face, you know, and I forgot. So don't forget. <laughs> all right. Uh, I'm going to get this one more go. Then we'll jump into the spread. I have missed y'all, man. I ain't did a live chat in like three weeks. You know, I have missed y'all like terribly. But uh, I just had some stuff going on. You know, I'm recovering from like, baby, you know? <laughs> it was a wake up call. I still got a, uh, a little like, you know, a little bit of cough in my chest. I haven't had a cough or a cold in like four years. And then, you know, mighty funny, you know, I started forgetting stuff. And then, you know, it, it was a reminder. But anyway, let's get into it. Ten of Cups in reverse. Queen of Wands in reverse. It's overall energy too. Like I said, it's Karmic Feminine in the mix. She's still here. Can't get rid of that one. That's the big roach. The Magician in reverse. Page of Wands in reverse. When they go learn, collect. When they go learn. The Hierophant in reverse. This is all bad. <laughs> Black Magic. Star in reverse. The devil in reverse. Ace of Pentacles. And Seven of Cups in reverse. Okay, so we have the Ten of Cups in reverse, Queen of Wands reverse, the Magician reverse, Page of Wands reverse, the Hierophant reverse, Black Magic, the Star reverse, the Devil reverse, Ace of Pentacles, and Seven Cups. Seven of Cups reverse. I don't get good vibes. I do not get good vibes off of this. As I was shuffling this deck, like doing the the, ma the major shuffle and cleansing the cards uh, before I started recording, every time I split this deck. It kept opening on Two of Cups, New Beginning in Reverse, and Black Magic, and um, there was something else. I forget. But um, I just got the energy of there like being, you know, a whole bunch of miserable people that want somebody else to be miserable too. They're trying to stop a new beginning. They're trying to stop two people from being together. They're trying to stop people from being happy. Happiness haters, spiritual haters, it's just a mess. But, um... Let's get let's jump right into it. Um, first card out is the Ten of Cups reverse. You know, the Ten of Cups talks about the ultimate fulfillment. This is, um, you know, especially pertaining to family. This is, you know, uh, a happy family, a happy marriage, happily ever after. Um, in reverse, it's the lack of that. You know, uh, if it's talking about family, it's karmic family. You know, the Ten of Cups is uh, Ten of Cups reverse is clarified by. Up in the clouds. Strength reverse. White magic. Nine 
Nine of Swords reverse. So I feel like, you know, there is, you know, it could be like a family or a group, a karmic family or group of people that is like in a nightmare. They're living a nightmare right now. I feel like these people could be like self-medicating, you know, uh, with up in the clouds and the upright. I feel like, you know, they could be smoking, maybe they're smoking weed to numb or, you know, uh, overindulging in other things to kind of like numb themselves. Because these people, these are people who lack integrity, they lack righteousness, you know, um, they don't do the right thing. They don't have morals, they don't have values. Um, I feel like these people are in a nightmare. I feel like, you know, it's a karmic family or a karmic group of some sort that you know they could be drinking a lot could be smoking a lot because they had questionable motives from the beginning you know these people have done a lot of wrong and I feel like you know nine of swords in reverse they're currently in a nightmare currently super stressed out and maybe in a nightmare living a nightmare you know sleepless nights anxiety depression they're uh, full of fear full of worry and white magic in the upright they might be praying, you know, some people could be, you know, reaching out to God, like, you know, I know I, I know I don't talk to you often, but, uh, Lord, I need you, you know, that's what I, that's the energy I get, um, I don't know. Yeah. So people are super stressed out. You know, maybe, uh, karma is, you know, well, in my last reading, you know, karma is playing out. For a lot of these karmic energies, karma is in full swing, baby. You know, so uh, they probably are stressing. Maybe they do want to, maybe they are talking to God. Like, you know, uh, I know I don't do this often, but uh, Lord, please. You know, uh, then we have the Queen of Wands in reverse. The Queen of Wands in reverse is a feminine energy. It could be a man or a woman. This person is lustful. <laughs> It's a hussy. No. Uh, this, this person is a lustful. It could be a man or a woman, but this is a lustful, promiscuous energy. Uh, this person is very witchy. You know, they like to do the bibbity bop. They like to do the hocus pocus, you know, and all of that. Uh, this has been the karmic film. She is a prostitute and a whore. No, she's a, she's a, a witch and a whore. A witch and or, you know. Uh, but the queen of wands, it's in reverse. Terrified by King of Wands in the upright. This guy been coming out in the upright lately. Like, you know, he don't want to be reversed no more. This is your past person. You know, this, this, this person standing up straight. Like, you know what? I don't want to do this no more. I see how this is working out. The moon in reverse. The Emperor in reverse. Secrets. I feel like, you know, this is talking about, you know, a lot of secrets have been revealed to this masculine. That's why this person is constantly coming out in the upright. Moon in reverse. A lot of secrets, a lot that was hidden has been revealed to this masculine energy about this karmic film. You know, a lot has come to the surface and this person is seeing things clearly. So, you know, they're, they're walking up, up upright, you know, um... And then I don't know if this is like another energy or if this is another energy that the the mass, you know, this past person is carrying. 
You have the emperor in reverse. This could be a father figure, a boss, or a DM, you know, a distorted masculine in reverse. Um, I feel like this person is secretly doing magic. They secretly doing some type of dark manifestation. You know, like there's been a bunch revealed to this King of Wands, but you know, maybe this is still a secret that, you know, either their boss or their father, some some distorted, corrupt ass masculine is like, you know, uh, doing dark manipulation as well. That's what I'm, uh, that's what I'm getting. Like this could be this person's father or this person's boss that's like working against them or something. Uh, magician in reverse, like I said, you know, the magician in reverse, this is um, some form of dark manipulation, could be spell work, uh, you know, um, magic, dark magic. Um, magician in reverse. Hmm. Baby, hey, hey, seven of wands, whatever you're doing, you protect it. You are protected. Divinely guided, divinely protected. What they thought? What they thought? Silly rabbits. <laughs> yeah, your intuition is on point. Baby, intuitive care in the upright. Intuition is on point. What they thought? You protected any of your intuition on fleet? What they thought? Eight of Wands. Somebody might want to communicate something to you real quick. Or they trying to send something to you. They sending this shit, we're sending this out real quick. We need to get this done. <laughs> Ten of Swords in reverse, baby. It ain't, it's not gonna fix you. <laughs> it's not gonna fix you, whatever the hell they sending. Stupid, they so dumb. <laughs> they are so dumb. So stupid. Like, what the hell? Yeah, so there's somebody, this could be your father. This could be a father figure for you, this emperor in reverse. I know there's been a lot revealed to this king of wands in the upright, who has, as far as the, the my reads have been going, this has been the only person in the upright. This masculine from your past, this has been the only person in the upright. Everybody else is reversed. This emperor in reverse, this could be a boss, a father figure. It could be this masculine father figure or boss. It could be your father figure or boss. But this person is secretly like working against you. They're either doing some type of dark manipulation against you or they're paying somebody to do it. But you're protected. Seven of Wands, whatever hits you, you know, it's going to go back. Even if it, and here's the thing, Collective, even if it does affect you, which a lot of us, you know, yeah, we've been affected by certain things. But even if it does affect you, you are going to recover. And then when it goes back to them, it's going back tenfold. These people are, they're not, they're not going to recover. You know, so, uh, but yeah, I have in the upright, you know, you're using your intuition, seeing things clearly. Maybe you didn't see things clearly for a minute. Maybe you slipped up. You know, I know. Maybe you slipped up. You wasn't seeing things clearly. You see it now. They're trying to send something to you. It's not going to work. Like you're going to, this is what it is. They're sending something or they sent something. You're going to recover. This is resonating for me, fam. These motherfuckers go send some shit or they have sent some shit and you're going to recover. Ten of Swords is when you're down, done, defeated. In reverse, you're, you've healed or you're healing. They go send some shit to you and you're going to recover like you always have. But will they? When that shit goes back tenfold, will they? Probably not. And I wouldn't wish that on nobody. But yeah, these jokers trying to send you, somebody trying to send you something. This, like I said, this could be the masculine energy, you know, in, you know, the, the your past person in a distorted energy, emperor in reverse, that's possible. I do feel like this could be another masculine, though, like a boss, a father. Yeah. But yeah, they secretly, they always, always want to throw rocks and hide their hands. Always want to throw rocks and hide their fucking hands. Like, you know, they secretly, you want to secretly do some, uh, some bibbity wow. You secretly want to do some magic. Like, stop being a punk. And pull up. I'm tired of these people. Paying for all this damn spell work. No one is going back to your stupid ass. They're just, just so stupid. They're so stupid. Uh, Page of Wines in Reverse talks about bad news. What was the bad news, Collector? The bad news is that this, this shit that they sent towards you is bouncing right off of your ass. Like I say, even if it does affect you, you're going to heal. It's not going to defeat you. 
Um, yeah, that's the bad news. That's what I think the bad news is. <laughs> they sent some shit that's going right back to they dumb asses. Uh, page of Wands in reverse. Hmm, <laughs> they talking shit. They're gonna be talking shit about you. <laughs> <coughs> Excuse me. Page of Swords in reverse talks about gossip, slander, yada, yada, yada. Uh, you know, somebody watching from the distance, spying, lurking on your pages. They mad because, you know, the little spell work done went on back. And you still doing, you know, one monkey didn't stop no show. You still doing your thing. Um, Page of Swords in reverse. Two of Cups in reverse. King of Swords. You know, upright today. You know, upright today. Two of Pentacles. This is that karmic fam. But I feel like this is like, you know, this feels like the energy. Either way, there's somebody that sent some type of manipulation, some type of spell work. It's what, it, it, this may, this could have affected you. If this is past tense, this is something that could have affected you. You know? Uh, but you healed. Ten of Swords reverse, you healed. Or if it does affect you, you're going to heal. Uh, because you're protected. This person's receiving bad news. And the bad news might be that, you know, their little bullshit didn't work. You know, it's going back to them. Um, they're talking shit. Whoever this is, they're talking like uh, like big shit. They're talking, what, what's new though, collective? You know, a lot of these people, a lot of these people have never met you in person and they're talking shit. So what's new? Like I said, shit, talk about me. Talk about the collective. We don't give, we don't give a damn. What the fuck was you vibrating in the basement. Vibrate, vibration all the way down there in the basement. We don't care what you have to Your opinion doesn't matter. Karmic. Like, shit, all they do is talk shit. Ain't got a pot to piss in or a window to throw it out of, but they want to talk about us. Okay. But yeah, I feel like, you know, somebody's talking shit because maybe they got dumped by a King of Swords. This King of Swords is trying to get his money right, and he couldn't do that around this person. So yeah, Two of Cups in reverse, you know, this King of Swords dropped that ass. Like, you know what? I I can't keep no money around you. You know? And y'all know my reads, uh, I've been saying that the Kermit Kim is bound to a financial curse. I think this King of Swords is like, you know what? Uh, I can't keep no money around you. I'm starting to notice that. Let me get the hell away from you and balance my budget. Let me get my funds right. Balance my money out. Because I, I can't seem to keep no money around your, your uh, Kermit ass. Hair finder reverse. This could be a, a divorce. If they was married, you know, somebody might be cutting their losses and moving on. Like, you know what? Mm -mm. Nope, not going to be able to do it. Uh, the hair finder reverse. Queen of Cups in reverse. Yeah, you're getting the hell away from this heifer. Like, mm -mm. no, yeah, because this was a false person. That was revealed to this person. If it revealed to this masculine. Yeah, it could be a divorce. There was a high level commitment. But uh care final reverse, you know, uh, that's over. That's ending. Somebody doesn't want to be with this person anymore. And I feel like it's because they realized that their money was funny around this 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 feminine energy. King uh Queen of Wands in reverse, she also carries Queen of Cups in reverse, an emotionally unstable, insecure, codependent feminine energy. Who was a false person? A pretender wearing a mask. They've been revealed. Innocence in reverse. Yeah, this person ain't innocent. They play that game. Like they innocent. Probably, you know, pretended that they was God fearing too. You know, no. This is a uh, this person on the other side. This Karmic Kim worked for the other side. Yeah, this masking and walking away. I cannot make this up, could I? <laughs> Eight of Cups. This masking and walking away, like, mm-mm, no. Not gonna be able to do it. Shit, getting the hell away from her. Or him, whoever. All right. Then we have Black Magic. It's in the upright. So, you know, these clowns. Clowns. <laughs> these clowns, these red noses, these bozos, these trash box, these bargain bin, five and dime ass karmics. They still busy. They still at it, collective. 
Black Magic in the upright. Um, Black Magic is terrified by. They lying. They speaking lies. Because I was just thinking, like, what's the Black Magic? What are they doing? You know, spoken words and spell work, too. They're lying on you. They could be still, you know, a lot of you went through that whole slander, uh, smear campaign, slander bullshit. These people are desperate. They're loot. They've already lost. So the thing is, they're desperate. They're doing the same thing. They're doing up to the same antics. They could still be talking about you. But at some point, it has to come to, like, you know, it comes to a head where it's like, you know, anybody that they're talking to is like, you're always talking about this person. Like, so are they obsessed? Are they crazy and obsessed? Or are you? Because you're always talking about this person. Mouth running like hot water. Somebody's lying. It's a lot of lies being told here. What else that question? Somebody's lying about a divine partner? Lying saying that they are a divine partner? Yeah, this is going to be revealed. There is somebody, I get the energy of there being a lot of lies. There's a whole bunch of talk going on and none of it's true. And this is all going to be revealed. It's all going to be revealed. Somebody's in legal issues. This could be something in court. You know, for some of you, this could be some type of court matter, legal matter. Whatever the case, whoever this, this energy is, this karmic film that's doing the black magic, doing all of these lies, pretending to be someone that, th that they're not, they will not get wish fulfillment. Star in reverse, Star talks about your most desired outcome. In reverse, it's your least desired outcome. This person's not gonna get what they want. They don't deserve it. Like, star in reverse. Person trying to escape judgment. That's why they tell them more lies. They're trying to escape judgment for the bullshit that they've already done. Yeah, being sneaky and deceptive. They don't want to be judged for being a liar, a cheater, and a thief. Oh no, you was gonna get that, baby Bob. You was gonna get that, boo. Karmic. They are full of regret. Somebody full of regret. Like, man. May I, I've been a really fucked up person. Maybe I shouldn't have did all this. Too late for that. <laughs> Too late for all that, baby. Yeah, this person's a vampire. Energy vampire. You know, fed off of your energy. And in a lot of cases, this person used your person to get into your energy. So that they could copy your energy. Manipulate your energy. Try to be you. Take you out and be you. Take your place. These people are so... It's a special place in hell for people like this. But yeah, you know, there is some type of legal issue and it's not going to go their way. They're telling more lies. They could currently be telling more lies, spreading more gossip, you know, still claiming to be the divine partner. This is all being revealed. There's a legal issue that's not going to go their way. They're not going to get what they want um, because they were. They were sneaky, deceptive. They lied, they cheated, they stole. And they are, they do have a sense of regret. I don't feel like this is remorse. This is not remorse. It's not like, damn, I feel really, really bad for what I did. This is, damn, I, I'm going I'm to be in a lot of trouble for what I've done. That's what that is. I'm going to be in a whole lot of trouble for what I've done. Not, damn, I feel bad. No, they don't feel bad. Devil in reverse. Uh, you know, the devil talks about bondage, obsession, addiction, uh, toxicity, hatred, uh, you know, evil, everything bad. In reverse, you know, this could be somebody releasing toxicity, releasing, you know, devil energy, or it could be somebody buckling down, like they just, you know, digging their heels in, like, you know, fuck, you know, I don't know. Devil in reverse. The community. Two of swords. Six of swords. world somebody's moving on here i feel like it's, it's a community of people or a group like the people the support just like in my reading yesterday 
um, we had the Queen of Pentacles and the Queen of Swords, and they, they came out in the upright. And I was saying, you know, I feel like these are energies that formerly, you know, used to support the karmic film, but they have, you know, gained a sense of enlightenment, and now they're in the upright. They want to do the right thing now because they see things for what it is. This is the same energy I get. There's a group, a group or a community of people that are releasing toxicity, releasing this devil, you know, and deciding to move on from this person. The world and Six of Swords. Closing the cycle, moving forward. Moving from rough waters to calm waters. You know, there's a group of people probably the, that at one time supported this person. They're moving on. They are moving on. It's like, okay, we, uh, we, we see what it is now. Goodbye. No thanks. Uh, then we have the Ace of Pentacles. You know, the Ace of Pentacles is a blessing. This is a really big blessing. It's usually tangible. Um, it can be anything, though. Whatever it is, it's big, and it's, you know, it, it uh, makes your life better. You know, when this is in the upright, your life is increasing in a major way. Ace of Pentacles. Five of Wands. Ten of Wands. Nine of Cups. Six of Pentacles. I feel like this is, you know, the thing is, you know, a lot of you, you dealt with these people. There was a, really just one person. Uh, overall, it's the enemy. He is the enemy, you know, where the, the war that we're fighting is not one of flesh and bone, flesh and blood. Um, but just as far as here on the 3D, there was a person that really wanted to be you, wanted to end you, wanted to take you out for whatever reason. And they manipulated a, a bunch of other lesser minded people, you know, smaller minded people into, you know, working with them. And uh, it was to take your blessings. You know, to take your blessings, to take your, your power, your strength, to take your gifts, to take your destiny. They want to transfer a destiny. Fucking weirdos. Like, they wanted to transfer a destiny. They wanted this. They didn't want you to have it. They wanted it. And they put in a lot of work to take that from you. This is in the upright because collective. I say it all the time. What God has ordained for you, beloved, is always yours. No karmic side chick creature, you know, could no nothing formed against you was going to prosper. This was always yours. Somebody mad about it. It's still yours. It's in the upright, and somebody's mad about it. <laughs> cry. Let them cry. Shit. Like what the hell? And we all have choices. These dumbasses made theirs, just like we made ours collective. We decided to move with righteousness, integrity. We decided not to retaliate when really we could have clapped back and hurt somebody. Because a lot of y'all, my collective, y'all were powerful. You know, my white witches, y'all got some real power. They thought they was doing something with this hocus pocus. Like, had you clapped back, you could have really hurt somebody. But you would have racked up karma too. And we don't do that, collective, do we? We don't do that. So you're still getting your blessing and somebody's mad about it. Do I mean, do we care? Do we really care? No. <laughs> yeah, but you know, yeah, what, what was yours is still yours and somebody's upset because they're extremely burdened to the wands. Burdened by everything that they've done. All this karma is about to squash this person. Like a Timberland boot on a cockroach. This It's over for them. Now the cups in reverse. They're unhappy, discontent, unsatisfied. And the energy I get, this is all they have to look forward to. It's not going to get better than this. For this person. Yeah. I don't know if this person was thought they were going to receive something. They were waiting to receive something. I just, I don't even want to hold that. This is somebody that's going to, they are about to face a lot of difficulty. I mean, everybody involved is, is going to face difficulty. 
but that that this person, the ringleader, this karmic family that has been so gung ho about you know really just making your life a living hell. This person's about to face a lot of difficulty. And you know, a lot of these people think because karma, they're not experiencing karma yet, that they have gotten, they've, you know, they've gotten away with it. That's why a lot of them are still doing it. Because they're like, oh, I'm untouchable. This shit's about to fall on their asses like a house of uh, a ton of bricks. And you know, if you're if you're lucky enough, collective, you'll be, you know, fortunate enough to get to see it. You know, <laughs> you get to witness it. But um, then we have the Seven of Cups in reverse. You know, the Seven of Cups talks about having too many options. It can also talk about uh, illusions, confusion, or delusions. In reverse, there, there's uh, an illusion or confusion that has been lifted, or somebody's out of options. They don't have any other any other options. Seven of Cups. <laughs> the lovers in reverse. <laughs> Six of Wands, and I cannot make this up. Six of Wands in reverse. Loss, defeat, shame, embarrassment. What they thought, collective? They thought they was going to come for you? They thought they was going to come for you. They thought they was going to come for me. And just get the prince around like, you know, any, any, any you know, like it's just another day. Another day of paradise. No. Stop coming for God's chosen. Stop coming for God's anointed dummies. What did they think? What were they thinking? They weren't thinking. Trash box, trash bags. They weren't thinking. I cannot make this up. Y'all see how these cards coming out? High Priestess in reverse. I can't make this up. The witchy prostitute. <laughs> Queen of Cups in reverse. Queen of Wands in reverse. You know, whatever love contract they were hoping to get or they thought they had probably with your past person it was false and it's over like what they thought they, they they wanted a victory they wanted to win coming against you like what like ma'am sir ma'am creature please have several sit down sit down time out in the corner forehead against the wall what the like, trash box Oscar the Grouch, if you don't get your dumb ass back in that trash can and shut up, like, I, man, I'm tired of it. Then we had the uh, High Priestess in Reverse. This is a dark witch. Somebody that practices some dark shit. And somebody that's going to have hell to pay for, for doing it. You know, like, it's ridiculous. Bottom of the deck, we have Six of Cups in Reverse. Somebody was hoping for a reconciliation or a reunion. It's not going to happen. This can also talk about a lack of forgiveness. You know, a lot of y'all ain't forgave yet. Then you know, take your time with it, sis, bro. You know, it's a process. Maybe you ain't forgave yet. You know, some of these betrayals was harsh. You know, uh, but you know, at some point, do that. Do that. Forgive them for you, not for them for their benefit. Because a lot of these jokers will apologize to you for their benefit. They're not. They're not apologizing to you because they're sorry. They apologize to you because they want to clear their conscience, release some of their burdens. Like I said, I don't want no apology. I don't need closure. I don't need an apology. I need you to stay the hell out of my way. Okay? Yeah, six of cups in reverse. They're not, yeah. Somebody got to let you go. This could be your past person. There's not going to be a reconciliation. This person got to let you go. Because they're facing a lot of delays in their life. They're going to face a lot of delays. Uh... They did it to themselves. These people could be in bad health. Four of Swords, y'all see this keep coming out in reverse. These people could be in bad health. And this is some shit that they sent to you. And like I say, you know, when we had it up there. Eight of Wands, Ten of Swords in reverse. You know, they probably sent some shit and maybe it did affect you. And like I say, this resonates for me. Maybe they sent you some shit and it really did affect you for a while. But you're healing. You're going to recover. These people... They're not protected like you all, sweetie. So they're, you know, they might not recover. Yeah, that's a group. Three cups in reverse. The witchy sisters. 
Yeah, the Queen of Pentacles, like I said, came out in the last week in the upright. Whoever that is, they don't want to do that. They don't want to, they don't want to, you know, be bad no more. They don't want to be mean no more. They don't want to be a hater no more. Hidden enemies been revealed. It's false ass flame. This masculine wants to ascend. Now, your past person, they want to ascend now. But this person's still not, they're not, they're still not balanced. They're still imbalanced. And like I said, I get the energy. A lot of y'all, you know, y'all are still healing. And take your time with that collective. Don't let nobody rush you. But you know, a lot of y'all are not in a space. And I, sh I shuffled this deck good. These cards are like this because they're supposed to be. A lot of y'all are not in a space where you're ready to forgive. You know, you don't necessarily want to forgive yet. You're still mad about it. A lot of you. And understandably so. Shit. I know I think about some of this shit and I get mad again. Be ready to bust somebody in their head. You know, so I mean, take your time with it, collector. Somebody's stuck. Whoever this is that got this karma connection, they might want to, they might want to walk away, but I don't think it's going to be that easy. The most high reverse. It's some dark shit. You know, their, their, uh, their, their bond or their, you know, the way they're, they're connected to this, this karmic fam, it goes, it's deeper than, you know, a little marriage certificate. It's some dark shit. I don't think they're going to get out of this one. You still going to get your offer and it's justice for you. Somebody could be going to jail and this is karma. They waiting for some shit that's never going to come. The wheel has turned out of their favor. This, there's a mad, this past person sees you as the light. Because they're going through bad luck, bad fortune, and bad karma, but they want to take a new path. They want to come towards you. And they're passionate about it. Knight of, Knight of Wands. They're passionate about it. They want to come towards you. Like they think you just going to save their ass. And uh, they're not going to be able to. Knight of Pentacles in reverse, they're going to be stopped. They're blocked. King of Cups in reverse. An emotionally unstable, quick to anger, you know, uh, jealous, insecure, masculine energy that collaborated against you and failed. It's somebody that worked against you, supposed to be on your team, and they wanted to work against you and they failed. Now they're they're bound to the same financial curse that their karmic wife is. And it's a painful permanent ending. It's over. Like I say, those of you who were y'all been getting the signs. And you know, even or you know, even better, where like your guides and the most high have been telling you, they have been guiding you and telling you what to do. If they told you to move away from that person, move away from that person. Because if you don't, bad shit will start to happen to you. You incur some of their karma. Y'all wonder why I've been missing for two weeks. I, I wasn't listening. I should have been listening. You know, I stepped up. You know, I'll be real about mine. But you know, if I can help my fam. Yeah, when, God, when you get those signs of synchronicities, listen to them. God trying to tell you something. Listen. You know, it's easy to be sucked back into the bullshit, but don't do it, fam. Because ain't nothing back there for you. Ain't nothing, You don't want this. Five of Pentacles? You don't want that. That's where they going. Five of Swords? You don't want that. That's where they going. Trying to come in and love bomb you on some bullshit because you independent. You out here winning. Yeah, we're not going that way. We're not going that way. Not at all. Uh, I'm going to give y'all the mess deck, baby. Y'all been missing me. Y'all been missing the mess deck. Let me give you guys the mess deck. We're going to get some Oracle. I've been missing Oracle. Y'all know that's my that's my jazz. That's my jam. So uh, I'm excited about the Oracle. Uh, I'm just happy to be back. You know, I was really hesitant about doing this today. But, um, you know, it's a new moon. And, you know, the, the, the new moon is all about new beginnings. And, you know, I'm about to, you know, no matter what I was going through, you know, I wasn't going to stop. I still did readings. I wasn't doing the face to face because I didn't feel like explaining nothing, you know, in the, the condition I was in two weeks ago. So, uh, but yeah, let that be a testament to you too. Like, you know, keep going. There's going to be a lot of obstacles. People are going to try to stop you from doing what you feel called to do or what you're supposed to be doing. Keep going. Don't let these people stop you. You know, and pay attention to if you go listen to anybody or anything, that's who you need to listen to. 
pay attention to what, you know, the most high is saying. What's your intuition telling you? Because, you know, these snakes around you will say whatever they need to say. Um, yeah, we'll get into the mess day, see if we had to pop out for us. Something you're meant to be doing is going to change the lives of others. Period. Go for it. I've had a lot of you email me. Or not a lot of you, but there's been a few of you that have emailed me. Um, because you guys think you want to be readers and you ask for pointers, you know, and I've sent y'all, you know, a pretty lengthy email back, you know, just telling you what worked for me. Um, but anything you feel called to do, if you're passionate about it, go for it. You know, uh, especially now, you know, today being this new moon, um, it's currently 140 my time in two hours, two or three hours is when the, the new moon is. And, um, you know, manifest, you know, manifest, um, the things that you want to do, the thing, your ambitions, your goals, and you know, start actively working towards them. You know, I get it. Move it into motion, especially if it's something you're being guided to do. You know, I had I took a liking to tarot. I was passionate about tarot, but I was guided into tarot. You know, because I didn't have when I in the beginning I didn't have the confidence to do this. You know, I'm still figuring out spirituality and everything, but it just you know I was guided into it, and it was something that I couldn't get. You know, I couldn't shake it. Like, you know, I just, it was something I felt I, I had to do. So, here I am. Like I say, you know, regardless of if I get, you know, 200 views or 20,000 views, I'm going to do this. I'm going to continue to do it. So, until I've got it not to, you know. Okay. I'm going to take those. I'm going to take these. Soul ties. That's what it felt like. This, per this past person, definitely, they, yeah, they got some soul ties. S, first, last, middle, initial. Someone wants to express their feelings for you. Let that be the good feelings. Let it be love and not hatred. This person might be stupid. Low IQ. Oh. This person might be stupid and oh no. Run collector. Run, <laughs> Run collector. Low IQ and padded room vibes. This person dumb and crazy. We don't do none of that. We don't, yeah, we don't do that. Well, yeah, we don't we're not gonna do that. Not at all. Not they dumb and they crazy collector. We got to stay awake. What happened to my meditation music? See how they do me? It's the devil. I rebuke it in the name of Jesus. Tried to play me. <clears throat> okay, I'm sorry. You have a little med med uh, meditation music cut off. But yeah, this person dumb and crazy. But I mean, you got to watch them with both eyes. Uh, somebody's taking financial losses. <clears throat> Ten of Pentacles in reverse. That show what it looked like. Past person is a master manipulator with many victims. But you're the one they couldn't defeat. Period. You're the one they couldn't defeat. She, what they thought. Because you're a high priestess. I cannot make this up. What they thought. They thought it was a game. Karmic femme or masculine is pissed because all their magic is backfiring. Be pissed. Clown, be mad at yourself, dummy. You were so stupid. They put this shit, they put this shit out into the universe and they want to be mad when it comes back to them. You did it, dummy. Like, what you crying? What you crying for? Stop crying for I give you something to cry about. <laughs> give you something to cry about. Leo, you could be a Leo. Somebody involved could be a Leo. I'm a Leo. You're a Versanta. Uh, maybe you have some. Maybe you need some. This rocks against, like, astral projection and psychic attack. It's stinky. It is some stinky stuff. And the smell lingers. Palo Santo is my favorite thing to burn. This is probably my least favorite. However, this is very effective. Very effective. They were expecting the spell work to take you out by now. Okay. Take the deep of faith. A lot of y'all, you know, and I'm, you know, I've, I've gone through it too. You know, where you know, you know, you want to move forward. 
but then you have this this lapse, this temporary lapse where like, you know, you're scared to take that leap. You're scared to like fully release the past. Let it go. This is what I'm telling you. Take the leap of faith. Jump. Jump, family. Just jump. Yeah, proceed with caution. Because I get entity attachments. Somebody, they're stuck with the demons they attempted to send to you. Somebody that was doing occult studies. They attempted to send you some shit. And now they stuck with it. So now they want to come towards you. Proceed with caution. Like I said, man, I ain't going, I ain't done with nobody from the past. I've been cutting people off the whole, this past two weeks, I've been cutting folks off. You know, uh... You know when people are for you. When people are for you, you know that they're for you. When they're not, you know you know that too. Somebody could have made you a lot of broken promises, you know? You are safe, you are protected. This don't mean you're invincible. And like I said, I had to learn the hard way. Collective, take it from me, fam. This does not mean you are invincible. You are safe, you are protected. You're not invincible though, okay? And you need to listen. We gotta listen, you know? It's hard to forgive someone that's never truly sorry, but you must. Do it for you. You know, all 22, all 2022, I held a lot of resentment towards people that had wronged me. And they, don't, they did nothing but delay me, you know, because I still had that, that, that hatred in my heart, you know. Because I, as much as I wanted to retaliate, I did not. But I had a, a full hatred. You know, I had like, you know, some, some ill will in my heart towards these people. You got to forgive them. Let that go. Let it go. They can feel you releasing them energetically. Here they come to reel you back in. Cut them loose. Collect them. Throw them to the dogs. Throw them to the wolves. Cut them loose. This motherfucker conceited, conceited, arrogant, and egotistical anyway. Clown. Oh. This somebody new. Why do y'all dating? Why do y'all dating? Y'all out here meeting people, meeting the right people. Uh, yeah. Intuition. Divine union. They're trying to get rid of evidence, but they've already been caught. What's the God? The God sees all. What the hell? Yeah, you could have been dealing with a manipulator, mental, emotional, energetic. This person's a loser. Blessings on the way. Keep going, fam. Keep going. Blessings on the way. I often think about the last time we were intimate. Divine inheritance. You know, a lot of men, a lot of y'all got that coming. A lot of people want to take this from you or keep it from you. You know, it was, all, it was always yours, beloved. Try to keep you stuck and stagnant, but now this is their outcome. Karmic justice. The energy, our lives are a projection of the energy we put out. These dumbasses, they are about to hate. They're, a day late and a dollar short. Too little, too late. Yeah. A lot of y'all have stepped out of these karmic cycles. You know, they've been wrapped up for you. You've been stepped out of that bullshit. These people are coming, you know, coming back around towards you way after the fact. You know, I was dealing with a past person that let six, you know what I'm saying? Like, we, we, it ended in February. So the fact that you even had the audacity to contact me wanting to work something out 10 months later? What the fuck? They had no idea that you would be the catalyst for their karma. They know now. Don't they, Collector? They know now. <laughs> Dummy. Running around talking about you. Let him talk trash. Your success will speak for itself. Solar plexus. Somebody can be trying to control you. That's their fucking problem. So busy trying to control you and what you do. Trying to bend your will. Dummies. With mirror magic. Fucking clown. Return to sender tenfold. And never return to them. Never return to me. Never return to my collective. How about that? Tenfold. Twentyfold. A thousandfold. Return to sender. Shit. We tired of playing with them. White Sage, 
You know what I get? And I'm telling you, because we already had your response to come out. The white sage too. Uh, somebody need to do energy uh energy clearing. You need to do uh energy cleansing, um, some space clearing. Uh, light language is uh really effective. I mean, it's different strokes for different folks. But uh, the fact that Yerba came out, Yerba came out, and White Sage, you know, some of y'all might need to do some energy clearing. Clear your energy. Get that old stagnant energy out. Anything that you have that's just been sitting around your house for like a long time that was around when you was in a different phase of life, get rid of it. Get rid of it. Throw it away. Baby, multiple sources of income. I claim it in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Baby, I want you so bad. This could be somebody new. This could be somebody new. Whatever you invest your energy into at this time will flourish and prosper. Get busy. Get to a collection. It's time to win. Yeah, a lot of y'all are in a narcissist, empath, paradigm. Trash. Trash. We don't want that. No, we don't. Goodbye. I pleasure myself while thinking of you. It's a form of sex magic. Patience is needed. Divine intervention is at play. I just watched a sermon about divine intervention this morning. 18 to 25 years old. One of y'all robbing the cradle. Which one of y'all robbing the cradle? This is a baby. <laughs> cycle ending, cycle beginning. Period. They did way too much to block you. Now their own life is ruined. <laughs> Dummy. Oh, they might, somebody got a kissing cousin. They been humping on their cousin the whole time. <laughs> Lies and rumors. Oh, shit. Someone new is coming to see your life. It just makes me feel some type of way because, uh, in a good way. <coughs> because I sit up here and I give these reads. You know, I've been doing this for a while now. You know, since June. So, um, so you know, roughly six months now. And um, some of them resonate for me. Some of them don't. But fam, I'm telling you, I'm speaking from experience when I say that these are these things are coming to fruition. You know, these happy endings and the things that, you know, these good things that's supposed to come to us, like they was in the read six months ago, seven months ago, eight months ago, they're coming to, for, everybody's on different timelines, you know, but they are coming. This is coming, like this, this stuff is coming to fruition. Stuff that, you know, I was saying was coming, like in reads, you know, could have been six months ago, my, my first, very first reads. It's like coming into fruition for me right now. And, uh, I've just never been, I don't know. I'm just, I said all that to say, you know, stay faithful. Stay faithful, you know, uh, stay empowered. Stay on your path. Stay away from the past energies and hating ass, karmic ass past energies because uh, it's great things coming, you know. Slanderer. Guys, we have Hager Swords over. They still talking shit. Keep talking. Keep on talking about the uh, collective shit. We don't care because we won. Victory was yours, beloved. The hell, let these motherfuckers talk. And if they hate, then let them hate. But watch the money pile up. Shit. Talk about me. Shit, I don't care. I'm laughing all the way to the bank. Ha, 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 Shit, what the hell? Right, collector? The hate they're projecting towards you is being returned to them tenfold. Return to send them. Shit, we send it right on back. Baby. Stolen inheritance came out reverse. Maybe somebody took your shit, you getting it back. Try. Steal your inheritance. All right, I'm gonna take a few more of these and I'm gonna call it. Okay, that's good. <coughs> Woo! Okay. All right, what's done in the dark come, always comes to the light. Period. The sun will come out tomorrow. Virgo, you could be a Virgo. Somebody in could be a Virgo. These motherfuckers tried to sacrifice you. They tried to, sa tried to sacrifice an earth angel. 
They're going to think about you for the rest of their lives. Facts. Because where, where a lot of y'all is headed, these motherfuckers can't go. But they sure go watch you. They're going to watch you. E, first, last, middle, initial. That last spill really knocked them out. Dummy. If it ain't took them out yet, you know, uh, 36 to 45 years old. Vacation. I claim it in the name of Jesus. Vacation, y'all could be taking a vacation. If you can't handle me at my worst, then you sure as hell don't deserve me at my best. Marilyn Monroe, motherfucking facts. You can't handle, like, think of, that's exactly what a lot of y'all went through. These, some of these people left you down bad. I know my past person left me, I was under the influence of a death spell and had just lost my job. A death spell that the new, the, the karmic put on me. This motherfucker walked out on me, came home from work, grabbed, grabbed clothes, and just, just left. Never came back. But want to come back now. If you can't handle me at my worst, you damn sure don't deserve me at my best. Get the fuck. Like, what the hell? Yeah, a lot of y'all got soulmate coming. You're not worried about this past person. You got the real deal on the way. Or already in your life. Karmic femme. Yeah, this bitch. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> I was about to go in on her. Yeah, this person a thief. Karmic film. Stealing ass. Tried to steal your man. Tried to steal your destiny. Stupid ass heifer. V, first, last, middle edition. They burned the bridge. Now they want you to send them a vote. You dumbass. You better swim. And don't swim over here to me. You swim to somebody else over here. I don't know. Shit. Low vibrational ass. Get on. Get away from the collective. Spiritual growth is underway. Keep going. Great things to come. Keep going, fam. Keep going. All right, I'm going to give y'all some Oracle. Baby, we back, boo. We back, baby. <laughs> I'm going to give y'all star seed, god, goddesses, and guardians. And uh, let's do Beyond Lemuria. Or no. I'm going to give you one from the back. Big, big. Got to get back into my groove. I done fell off. It's been three weeks. I said, oh, uh, from the net, we have come together. Yeah, it's been three weeks. I said, man, I need to get back on my reads, my little face, my little live, something. Done fell off. But I've been going through this last three weeks. Thank you so much for everybody who sent me prayers. Um, they help more than you know. Just the, the extra encouragement and inspiration. A few of you that I get personal with, there's a couple of y'all that email me. Um, and I told y'all, you know, I get y'all play by play. Y'all been knowing what's going on. And I'm just so grateful for you guys. Uh, thank you so much. I love you so much for all the support, the prayers. Um, I was really going through, it was like, you know, one thing after another. And it was, you know, a wake up call. Like, uh, you're going the wrong way, buddy. You know, so I'm grateful for, I'm grateful for that. You're not for everyone. Period. You're not for everyone. And it's okay. Totally all right, fam. I'm not for everybody either. I don't want to be for everybody, personally. Keep them motherfuckers away from me. All right, uh, gods, goddesses, and guardians, we have... Uh, Ama Teresu. Ama Teresu, no more hiding. No more hiding, we here. It's our time, collective we ain't hiding. For what? For who? All right, from the map, we have come together. Come together, love needs to be shared. Love needs to be expressed. Drawing the come together card is a sign that you're on the path to discover the nature of this emotion in all its forms of expression. Romantic, familial, unconditional, spiritual. In each instance, there's another being love, being involved. Love involves a give and take between you and a significant other, a relative, a friend, an animal, and or a spirit. This card assures you that love has come calling and seeks a partner in its dance. Know that you are cherished like a magnet. You're attracting love into your life. 
This is the time for harmonious, caring partnerships. Come together. The or like I said, the or the, I've been missing this. The oracles get me. They always write where I'm at. Um, come together. You know, a lot of you have manifested. You're deserving of that loving partner. Those loving, loyal friends. You know, you are deserving of that. You know, and you've been manifesting them. And a lot of times when these people come towards you, you know, the people that you manifested, you know, you can still be damaged, still unhealed, and you don't recognize that, you know, this is what you deserve. Just be open-minded. And I, I'm, I'm trying to teach myself the same thing. So be open-minded. Because you don't want to manifest, you know, everything you deserve. And then when it comes to you, you don't trust it. You know, you don't believe it's real because you've been hurt so bad. I know, fam. I've been there. I'm going through it too. But, you know, uh, me personally, I'm just, I'm, I took that leap of faith. I jumped. Like, shit. It's either go back to what, I, what I've been through or just jump into something totally new. I'm going to jump. And I just jumped. Right on out the window. Sure did. Uh, but, yeah. You know, these, these loving partnerships, these friendships, they're coming towards you. They're coming in. You know, just discern. Take that leap. Um, from gods, goddesses, gods, and guardians, we have Ama, Teresu, no more hiding. No more running, no more hiding. Come out of the cave. Shine brilliantly. Ama Teresu is a supreme Japanese Shinto sun goddess and daughter of the creator god, is a Nagi. Her name means great shining heaven. Japanese emperors are said to be ascended from Amaterasu, and she's the highest deity in Japan. Shinto legend relates how Amaterasu retreated into a cave when her brother Susanu began neglecting his divine role in creating mayhem. So important was Amaterasu's light that her disappearance plunged heaven and earth into disastrous darkness. Desperate for her to emerge, the deities created rituals to entice her out, including a mirror placed at the mouth of the cave. Amaterasu saw her shining light in the reflection and never hid herself away again. You're an introspective soul with a deep and multi-layered inner life. You need time to process and reflect on life's events. Private space is vital for your well-being. It can feel safe and familiar to keep yourself closeted away. But Amaterasu is asking you to share more of your beautiful light and wisdom. You have a special energy that needs to be seen, so don't hide it. What do you fear might happen if you reveal your spirit, your true spirit? Does it feel as if your energy may be somehow damaged or destroyed if it's brought out into the open? Or perhaps you'll be hurt, judged, or misunderstood? Even if this has happened before, Amaterasu wants to restore your trust. She understands your fears about coming out of the dark cave and offers you her hand. Come out, shining one, she says. Remove your cloak so we can receive your inner light. You can be an important guide for others. It's safe and trustworthy out here, and you'll be met with love, respect, and gratitude for sharing what's inside your heart. I'm a Teresu, no more hiding. Baby, I say it all the time, collective shine bright, baby, like a diamond, because you are. Shine bright. No more hiding. You know? And it's different strokes for different folks. That's not saying you have to be, you know, just completely extroverted and loud and proud with everything you do. But, you know, um, I don't know. Just like me, when I first started uh, tarot reading, you know, if you notice all of my reads, my my, my very first reads, like, I, I've always done face-to-face. -face because I felt like if I was going to do this, I wanted to be authentic and I wanted to be I wanted you guys to know I'm sitting here giving you how can I give a star message I'm sitting here giving you information giving you advice which is truthful to my heart you know I'm telling you what I feel and what I see here you know but um me personally I always had an issue trusting people that I couldn't connect to you know sometimes you can and that, that's how you know like because I initially the first readers that I connected to they didn't show their face but you know they're they're all they're so authentic their character and everything shines through, you know, so I connected, you know, you know who your tribe is, your vibe attracts your tribe, but I wanted to, I wanted people to be able to get to know me and trust me, you know what I'm saying, know me for who I am, and, you know, um, just the mentality, no more hiding, like, I've just, 
you know, since my spiritual awakening, that's where I've been. No more hiding. I'm not hiding shit. You know? Um, and then y'all talk, you know, y'all be getting at me too about the traditional reads. The reads I do where I don't show my face. Some of y'all be cutting me up. But I, I still love you. <laughs> Talk about, no, no, no. We want to see your face. We want to see your face. Baby, let me tell you, about two weeks ago, you did not want to see my face. It's still not all the way normal yet. Okay? Um, but yeah, two weeks ago, you didn't want to see my face, boo. But I love you. <laughs> all right. Uh, you're not for everyone. From uh, Star C, you're not for everyone. Which you know that. And don't, and don't want to be neither. Surely don't don't want to be for everyone. Thanks. Um, you're not for everyone. Embrace your weirdness. Face your true north. The world is filled with people who no matter what you do, just won't like you. But it's also filled with those who will love you fiercely. They are your people. You're not for everyone, and that's okay. Talk to the people who can hear you. Don't waste your precious time and gifts trying to convince others of your value. They won't ever want what you're selling. Don't try to convince them to walk alongside you. You'll be wasting your time and theirs and will likely inflict unnecessary wounds that will take precious time to heal. You're not for them and they're not for you. Politely wave them on and continue on your way. Sharing your path with someone is a sacred gift. Don't cheapen it by rolling yours in the wrong direction. Keep facing your true north. Pulling this card means you're being called to embrace your uniqueness to own your weirdness, to let the world see you for who you really are, to reveal your multifaceted, multidimensional nature, not to dim your light according to who is in your presence, but to own all parts of yourself so that your people, the ones who are the same kind of weird as you, can recognize you when your paths cross. You're not for everyone. Period. You're not for everyone. But if you my fam, you for me, baby, you for me and I for you. You know, don't worry about nobody else. Shoot. That was like something that was so difficult for me to like, my entire life. My entire life, I spent a lot of time really trying to fit in to what everybody else thought was cool and accepting, or, you know, accepted, acceptable. And, you know, that's what I love more so much about spirituality. Because after 34 years, you know, I'm finally just fully secure in who I am as a person. I don't care about what nobody else got to say, what nobody else got to think about me, because I know my heart's in the right place. I know, you know, that I move with integrity, integrity and righteousness. And now I got faith. You know, my entire life, I've never had faith. Didn't believe in God. Now I got faith. Oh, shit. Okay. <laughs> okay. Speaking of faith, I did pick a prayer for you guys. Um, I've just been slacking. It's been a rough... It's been a rough, it's like, you know, as soon as I, like, agree to do more, then I have more obstacles. Because, like, I really let Brother Kev go. So, everybody who's following Brother Kev, I got you. I'm going to do something for Brother Kev, too. Um, I'm so sorry. Um, but, yeah, I did pick a prayer. This one is from Prayers That Release Heaven and Move Mountains. All right, this is prayers that continue. You can bow your head if you want to or not. I'm praying for everybody watching, all of my collective, my chosen ones, my star seeds, all you beautiful souls, and myself. Lord, let my continual coming into your presence cause you to avenge me. Lord, I am one of those who have continued with you in your trials. Let brotherly love continue in my life. Lord, because you continue forever, you have an unchangeable priesthood. Like Hannah, I will continue praying before the Lord. I will continue to prosper and continue. I will begin to prosper and continue to prosper until I become very prosperous. I will give myself continually to prayer and to the ministry of the world. I will rejoice in hope and be patient in tribulation and continue steadfastly in prayer. I am continually in the temple praising and blessing God. Lord, my sacrifices and burnt offerings are continually before you. Thank you, Lord, that you will not rebuke me. I will hope continually and will praise you yet more and more. You are continually with me, Lord. You hold me by my right hand. I will keep your law continually forever and ever. Like Daniel, I will continue in prayer and service. I will continue in faith 
love, and holiness with self-control. I will take heed to myself and to the doctrine. I will continue in them so that I may be saved. With the assembly, I will continue to worship and sing until the burnt offerings are finished. I will wait on God continually. I will return and observe mercy and justice. I will continue in all things that I have learned and been assured of, knowing from whom I have learned them. I will continue with one accord in prayer and supplication. I will continue steadfastly in the apostles' doctrine and fellowship, in the breaking of bread and in prayers. With purpose of heart, I will continue with the Lord. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. Amen. Yeah, this one, it goes on, but you guys know I cut them down on Intuitive Kev. Just, you know, I'll give you a piece of the prayer. But, uh, amen, amen. Um, on Brother Kev, I'm going to give you guys the full one. Anybody wants the full prayers, I'm going to do the full ones over there. Um, and I, once again, I apologize for, like, you know, i just been going through some stuff. As you guys can see, I'm, like, still, re I'm still recovering from a couple of different things, you know. Um, but, you know, uh. Small stuff to a giant, you know. We got to keep pushing. And, uh, nobody knows better than my collective, you know. We got to keep pushing. Sometimes things happen. Sometimes things get difficult. Sometimes, you know, you have obstacles. You have challenges. You got to keep pushing, though, you know. So, uh, thank you so much for joining me. This is, like, my first video back in, like, three weeks. It's been about three weeks, two or three weeks now. Uh, closer to three. But I have missed you guys. Um, I thank you guys so much for supporting me. Um, I love you so much. I love you to the moon and back. Um, I'm glad you're here. Thank you guys so much for your support of me, especially this last three weeks. Because like I said, some of you know, and some of you don't know, but either way, you all have been so supportive and I love you so much. Uh, thank you for your support of each other. I know we haven't done the live chat in a while. This will be the first time in a while. But you guys always support each other in those live chats. And it's absolutely amazing. That's what it's all about, fam. I love you guys so much. Uh, to anybody that's donated to the channel, thank you guys so much. It's been a really big help. And I love you. I appreciate you. Um, to anybody that would like to donate to the channel, the links will be in the description box of this video. Uh, to anybody who gives me those energetic donations, those likes, those comments, those subscribes. Thank you guys so much. I love you so much. Um, I want to send you guys an abundance of love, light, and healing vibes. You guys are so worthy, so deserving. Don't ever forget it. And as always, I'm Kev, Intuitive Kev, and this has been a reading for The Collective. I'll see you guys later.